Peter Bond here at Industrial Flooring Supply. We know that every contractor out there owns that one power tool he simply can't live without on a job site. If your business involves resinous floor and wall coatings in the commercial, industrial, or residential markets, you won't want to leave your shop without the Swiss Army knife of our industry, the portable, self-contained backpack broadcasting machine. Let's watch a video. Are you still hand-throwing PBA-based colored chips or flakes into resinous floors? Did you know that the new lightweight flake technology is about to hit the market? Broadcasting this lower-cost flake will be a whole new ball game as it creates new benefits and yet presents new challenges for our industry. What about vertical applications? Are you attempting to broadcast wall coatings by hand? With the usual, labor-intensive, disastrous results? Or are you still hand broadcasting color quartz sands, small natural aggregates, skid resistant media like aluminum oxide or silica sand, or rubber granulars onto wet resinous floor, wall, or deck coating? Are you still manually lugging around cumbersome boxes? Or maybe you prefer the good old wheelbarrow technique. Does your crew still duct tape or strap heavy boxes or buckets around their neck when they broadcast by hand? And wouldn't you like to save money and only pay one worker to do this chore? We've even observed workers manually carrying buckets upon heavy buckets to the pour line in order to feed the broadcasting line crew. Think of the tremendous physical strain and the risk of injury to your workers' backs, shoulders, and arms with all of these precarious methods we just showed you. Is your pour line a crowded sea of workers where the pouring crew and the broadcast crew get in each other's way, creating chaos and hindering progress? Are you frustrated with uneven or mounding of excess broadcast media when broadcasting by hand? Did you know that mounting of flakes can cause hidden problems with certain resins? And what about the time-consuming process and wasted labor involved with cleaning up the excess flakes or sand from hand broadcasting? Notice how this worker stands in one place trying to move mounds of flakes with an electric blower. Do you continue to struggle with air hoses or power cords? Think about the tripping hazards associated with extension cords lying all over the floor. What about the hassle of constantly moving all of those cords out of the way or switching outlets because you ran out of cord, or to avoid overloading a circuit? Not to mention the labor and expense to maintain all of them. Look at these guys. They're completely strung out. Doesn't expediting your projects and saving money interest you? Would you like to reduce the time it takes to clean up broadcast material by up to 80%? Are you intimidated by large floor or deck projects where split-second pour and broadcast timing is so critical, especially with fast-cure resins like polyurea, polyaspartics, acrylic resins, and fast-cure epoxy acrylic? Are you missing out on the virtually untapped and lucrative wall or wainscoting opportunities by failing to offer it to your customers. Hand broadcasting onto a vertical surface can be problematic at best. Are you a garage floor contractor? How about a coating contractor in the industrial, commercial, or residential markets? Maybe you're a painting, waterproofing, or roofing business owner. Does your business currently broadcast media onto fast acrylic reactive resins, fast cure epoxy, polyurea or polyaspartics, elastomeric deck coatings, or other conventional slow cure resin or water-based roofing or decking systems? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the power tool that has provided so many contractors with that ace card in the hole when it comes to savings and professional results. Does this look familiar to you? Watch as this crew struggles uncomfortably to broadcast the colored flakes on phase one of this vinyl asbestos tile encapsulation project using fast cure acrylic reactive resinous flooring. It almost looks like it was his very first attempt at a broadcast flooring system, but it wasn't. Strangely enough, this contractor had been in business at the time for over 20 years. Why pay four or more workers to broadcast the colored flakes when one man, using the correct tool, is all that's required on a job of this size. The reason why is typical for many contractors. They are simply too busy selling, organizing, supervising, bookkeeping, and doing other paperwork, in addition to the other hats an owner generally wears, to keep up with old and new innovative ideas and equipment available in the marketplace that save you time and money. I'm going to show you a few projects all over the world 
large and small, to illustrate the positive results one simple tool can provide on a job site. This is the installation of the United Airlines Flight Line Locker Room Flooring Project at Honolulu International Airport in Hawaii, within view of Diamond Head, completed in the late 80s or early 90s. This 5,000 square foot project was a full flake broadcast to rejection into a self-leveling acrylic slurry. Notice the ease of application using the backpack blower to broadcast the flakes. One worker, one tool. Here is the rehabilitation of a freezer floor at a meatpacking plant near Omaha, Nebraska. A colored quartz sand was broadcast with backpack blowers into an overlay of self-leveling fast cure acrylics, including the vertical bumper curve. A walk in the park, wouldn't you agree? Here is a small laboratory project in the Kansas City area. The blower is oh so handy on small projects. A level surface means everything on this type of application and the blower provides a nice even distribution of the broadcast material. This meat and food processing plant job outside Cincinnati, Ohio entailed the removal of a failed delaminated resinous floor. Notice there is no real bond to the concrete substrate allowing a bacteria buildup and in some areas it was pretty nasty. The owner chose a colored quartz floor system. After removal, scarification and shot blasting, we poured a self-leveling acrylic overlay. Then, we broadcast to rejection the colored quartz sand onto the floor and the perimeter bumper curb. Notice the technique we use for the curb and cove base. A real piece of cake. This procedure makes a lot more sense than hand trawling of a curb or cove separately with thickening agents. It's not only aesthetically more pleasing, it's a much faster and cleaner installation technique that's been used successfully for over 25 years with excellent results. Here's a project for the Honeywell Microswitch plant in Freeport, Illinois, where a precast Colvin wall coating was part of the loading dock rehabilitation project. Notice how easy the flakes are broadcast up the cove and the concrete retaining wall. The wall portion may have been intimidating to some contractors, however, with the use of the backpack blower, it's a simple procedure to coat and broadcast the cove and the wall right along with the floor. Without a backpack blower in a situation like this, most contractors would broadcast the wall separately, several times to achieve 100% coverage before they pour the floor. Think about all the extra time and material that would be wasted with that procedure. Here is another example. This contractor forgot his blower on a residential garage floor and wainscot project. This should have been a one-day job using our fast cure acrylic epoxy and clear polyaspartic top coat. After three attempts to broadcast the small flakes onto the wall by hand without success, he decided to pour the floor and return the next day to complete the wall. When he returned with his backpack blower, the wall was completed in one pass. Think about all the extra time and material that was wasted simply because he didn't have his blower with him on that first day. Let's take a look at aisleways and heavy-duty manufacturing plants, where the backpack blower is used to broadcast colored quartz sand into fast cure self-leveling resin. This caterpillar plant outside Peoria, Illinois, did a complete aisleway rehabilitation project and the blower provided maximum efficiency for not just the broadcasting, but for the cleanup effort as well. The plant manager commented favorably on the efficiency of the operation from start to finish. He was especially impressed with the portability of the blower to get around the racking and the tight spaces in the plant to remove any excess quartz broadcast. After final top coat and during final cleanup under racks adjacent to the new aisles, accumulated debris that the plant manager said had most likely been there for over 20 years was removed with the backpack blower. A real bonus for the customer, and that made him smile. The Brookfield Zoo, located outside Chicago, used flake broadcast floors in the public restrooms and other areas such as animal enclosures and commissary floors for years. Many outside ramps were done with natural Merrimack stone broadcast to fit in with the rustic atmosphere and provide slip resistance from rain and snow. The backpack blower was used not only for the horizontal surfaces, but the vertical application as well. This contractor used the blower for broadcasting sand into the deck coating in the seating areas at the track. Backpack blowers were also used for the thin film full flake broadcast on the entire inside enclosure bedding and concession areas of Sportsman's Park Racetrack. 
He also completed other racetracks and public assembly buildings throughout the Chicago area. The next project we are going to look at is the Vimco Manufacturing Plants located in Central Michigan. This plastic injection molding company produced plastic fascia and bumpers for the big three automakers. This large 300,000 plus square foot job, which was quite an undertaking for a novice resinous flooring contractor, took place some 20 years ago. Industrial Flooring Supply provided on-site training and consultation for all phases of the job process. We advised them about the most qualified surface preparation subcontractor capable of doing a project of this magnitude. IFS supplied the coating contractor with the correct resin, tools, and equipment to successfully complete a project of this size on time and within budget. We consulted and advised the contractor about the organizational skills and the application tools and techniques required for compliance with the acceptance criteria established by the owner. This ongoing phased project took about a year to complete throughout the various Vimco owned plants. All exposed areas of the plants were coated with a thin film fast cure coating with full flake broadcast to rejection. This contractor followed our instructions and advice to the letter. As a result, and as you can see from the footage, the process is organized and professional. Notice the ease of application using backpack blowers. The blowers and the cooperation of the contractor and his professional crew made this large project another walk in the park and was truly poetry in motion. And finally, we'll review this 50,000 square foot Des Moines Convention Center in Iowa. This time sensitive project was completed successfully on schedule by another novice resinous flooring contractor whose business was Terrazzo Flooring. Again, IFS advised and supplied the contractor with the correct resins, tools and equipment, organizational skills and application techniques. Like the previous Vimco project, the cooperation of the contractor and his crew was paramount to complete all phases of the application in an orderly, expeditious and professional manner. This job entailed the removal of a failed thin film epoxy coating that was installed during the new construction phase a few years prior and was similar to the conditions at the Vimco project you saw earlier. After removal, a thin film fast cure MMA acrylic reactive resin was installed with a full flake broadcast to rejection. As you can see, it's well orchestrated. Total confidence. Every worker in the right place at the right time. This is another poetry in motion application. And it's exactly what you want your clients to witness when they're supervising a job site. Because you know, they will be there, watching, intently. We're all aware that first impressions are long-lasting. Poetry in motion should be imprinted on your client's mind as he views your progress. An attentive client that observes confusion and chaos at the job site can be your worst nightmare. It could pick you and your crew apart at every phase of the project, causing stress and anxiety that no one really needs or wants. Well, remember this guy? Watching? He is second in command at the convention center. He watched in amazement as this well-oiled machine installed the floor. He even called his boss, who happened to be playing tennis on his day off, and suggested he come as quickly as he could to watch this incredible turn of events. You want your customer smiling, especially if he's first in command. Just like this tennis-playing boss, as he marvels at the poetry in motion that instills confidence in even the most skeptical client. Keep in mind that efficient broadcasting is merely one of the many ways that the portable backpack blower will keep you out of trouble on the job site. If you are truly serious about your flooring business, the portable backpack blower, along with the training videos, will be an important asset to your company. These tools were designed, time-tested, and proven to enable you and your company to propel to the next level of expertise. Just remember, save your back, save your knees. With our backpack blower, your floors will be a breeze. So order one today.